Welcome hey. to Between the Lines. <laughs> How are you? How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Yes. Yes. I love it's the I love the colors you're wearing. Rose and tall. Did I pronounce that correct? Thank you pronounced you. it wonderfully. I love it too. <laughs> the purple, I love it. I did. Rose and tall. Oh, thank you. I do my best, you know. I do try. I do try. So we are talking today. <laughs> we are talking today about business productivity tools for business. Is that correct? That's what we're talking about today. Tell me. I believe that's what we're talking about, yeah. and I would love to talk about that. I'll talk about anything you want to talk about. <laughs> business collaboration and productivity tools for success. That's what we're talking awesome. about. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. We have 30 minutes to talk or less. Yes. So we have a, a lot of things to get done, and this is live. And let me just tell you. Persons are watching this on, well, it's supposed to be Facebook, but I see I just lost that connection to Facebook, so I need to fix that. But they are watching it on Twitch and they're watching it on YouTube, or they're supposed to, or they can get access to it there. So you can point your people there in order to engage. And I encourage all my guests when they're coming on my show that they can start getting their people promoting promoting it so that they could be here to ask their questions live and it will all show up here and we'll have some fun in our 30 minutes. So until then, it's just me and you hanging out until somebody comes in, okay? But we're gonna have fun. That sounds good. All right? Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> right. So business collaboration. So let's talk about Matt. But before I do that, I want to properly give people an idea of who you are. So Matt Rosenthal is a technology and business strategist, as well as the president and CEO of MindCore. You can see that in his little name there. The leading IT solutions provider in New Jersey. MindCore offers a broad portfolio of IT services and solutions tailored to help businesses take back control of their technology, streamline their business, and outperform their competition. Yeah, so welcome officially again to Between the Lines. So business collaboration. Now, we know that business and how business operates now has changed, correct, Matt? So how people were operating traditionally with brick and mortar businesses is not like that anymore. So how, how does business collaboration and productivity tools come in here now with this new way of operating in business? You know what, it was so important before and you know we've been working for years to um you know to try and convince the people that we work with and the people that we come in contact with that these are the types of, of solutions and technologies that are going to give your your business an advantage now all of a sudden you know to your point there's like the new normal and the new normal is like you have to have these types of tools uh if you don't have them already it's it's you're probably finding it difficult to be productive and to communicate and to collaborate with not just your coworkers but with um, your your customers or people that maybe your future customers it's um it's changed everything and the change isn't that the tools weren't there before the same tools that are there today were there a year ago they're a little more advanced now and there's a little more competition amongst the 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 uh, manufacturers like Microsoft and Zoom. So we're on the benefiting end of better features. But now it's like, if you don't have these things in place, I, I'm not sure how you're even able to remain in business or, you know, be able to really service your own customers. Um, it's, it's an absolute must. So now we don't have to try and, and really convince people to do this. Now they know they need to do it and they're coming to us and they're asking us, mm -hmm. How do we get set up on G Suite or how do we get set up on Microsoft Teams? What does that project look like? How fast can we do it? That's the shift. The, the mind shift mm -hmm. is in that point of view and the mindset of now it's it's more important to my business because if I don't figure this out, my business is going to suffer. I'm going to fall behind and I can't support. I can't deliver my service. That's really the change. But it's still happening. It's still like this, this mind shift of, oh, by the way, I also have to spend money on that. Like I have to budget for it, like it costs money. And so there's, there's, there's still a process to go through. I think it's gonna go for the rest of this year, 2021, um, for the, the people that lag behind. The early adopters, they're all already on board, but that's just the beginning of that bell curve. 
everybody else still has to really get you know get moving and adopt the uh, the, the tools they need to really be productive. Mm -mm, I think one of us froze. Are you still there? Oh no. I'll wait for you. I'll be here. I'm going to check my Bitcoin while you're trying to reconnect. Wow, it's dropping. It's gone from $40,000 at 7 o'clock this morning to 37016 Oh. Yeah, it's hanging around there. That's a big drop. It's almost a 10% drop today. And Ethereum has gone from 1330 or so down to 1240. I'm back with you, Matt. I just got bombed for a second. That's okay. I was keeping I, I was keeping the audience crying, busy. But... No, I was keeping the audience busy. I was and I was going over the, the, the Bitcoin price. <laughs> And that's and we a, have a bad connection. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, there's some I was keeping see, everybody I'm being busy. bumped again. <laughs> you should. You should have a great guest. Keep the audience busy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm doing. You're a great guest. I don't know how much of my answer you heard. This is being like. Um, were you able to hear but my, repeat my response? It. We have time. Repeat it. Tell me what. Mm hmm. So I was so my response was really talking about how the the there's a new norm, but the new norm isn't really much different than what it was before. It's just that now everybody's much more aware, and they really want to move their their businesses technology forward um, with a little more urgency. The technology is the same; it's a little better than it was a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, but but it's really important mm -hmm. that everybody really um, budget for the new norm, and they they develop or they look at the I call it the three C's: the collaboration tools cloud and cybersecurity. That's where everybody's mindset really has to be. That's the key to the foundation of your business technology, cybersecurity, cloud, and collaboration tools. That's it. That's where everything is now. doesn't matter where you are, mm -hmm. you know, physically. You can be working from anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing. Security has become a heightened issue right now. And so persons need to be very careful. Persons' accounts are being hacked. I'm even seeing people coming onto YouTube and talking about their accounts are being hacked, Instagram, and it's very stressful. And I think from the experience, you know, it's it's also a way of releasing and letting go because they realize like like their whole life is attached to it. But we also have to have a backup in place because especially if you're in business and your followers are there and it's the one main place that persons connect with you in order to know what's going on, what's happening next. It really could have a little dent temporarily in your business, especially if you're having problems talking to, let's say if it was the Instagram owners or however you have to get back on stream. So security is an issue. Um, another thing too is persons who have been in the old school type of thinking, having old school approaches, not knowing how to transition uh, with new business collaboration tools online. And, and, and to be able to navigate and use that online. What are some, what are some um, tips that you can share with businesses uh, transitioning from brick and mortar old school thinking to the new normal technology type of thinking? What would you suggest? So we're speaking to, for example, a business owner right now, right? That's, you're asking me that as if it's a business owner. So the, the mm -hmm. number one most yeah. important thing if that I would- piece of advice that I would give is don't be driven by by fear of making decisions because we're all going into a somewhat a, a bit of the unknown right now as much as we all run businesses and we've run yeah. them I've run business for a long time and yeah. many people that are watching this have run business for a long time so some of the things about business that um, mm -hmm. will remain constant you have to watch your p l you have to watch your balance sheet I mean finance is finance but Technology is the driving force and the foundation of your business, and you have to be able to make decisions and pivot. And if you don't because of fear, that really could cause you a major problem in your business. 
And so, I mean, really that mindset going forward, one of the biggest pieces of advice yeah. I can give is from experience, from the people that I, that I work with and that I see, they, they, be, they get caught in analysis paralysis. Is this the right decision for my business? Should I go with Microsoft Teams for collaboration or should I go with G Suite? <laughs> I, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah. you go with one or the other. And what I'm seeing is people are getting yeah. stuck in, in, in inability to make decision and the second part of that, one of the reasons for that is because they don't have a good trusted advisor. So my second piece of advice is yeah, yeah. make sure you have a very, very, um, the word good is an understatement. Make sure you have a trusted advisor that, um, that has your best interest, that understands your business, and that you know, obviously that you can really trust that, that, and that knows what they're talking about. If you're going to have a trusted advisor giving you guidance on technology, don't have your barber giving you tech advice on technology, right? Your barber should give you advice on how to cut hair. <laughs> Why not? Right? Why not? Why not? Why not? When you want relationship, when you want when you want relationship advice, you go to the woman who has never been in a good relationship. When you want <laughs> when you want children advice, parents, <laughs> you go to the person who have no children. That's what we do. <laughs> right. Listen, when I want advice about my so business, I'm going, go to the, to I'm going to the person that does, that's got a successful <laughs> business that's making millions of dollars. I think I want the best of man or woman I want advice from. But I'm telling you, make sure that you have a trusted advisor that really knows what they're talking about, because you don't get a lot of yeah. um, there's not a lot of flexibility when you make a technology decision and you make the wrong one, because it could take you a long time. Yeah to step back and unwind a, yeah. a bad technology decision. It could, you could lose a year's worth of your business yeah. and your business just runs flat. So those are yeah. two pieces of important advice I really could give is don't be driven by fear. Um, it's okay to be afraid, but, but don't let the fear drive you, stop you from making a good decision and making one swiftly yeah. and, and have a very, very good trusted advisor around you, specifically when it comes to technology that's going to, that knows what they're talking about. No different than your lawyer, no different than your doctor, no different than your accountant or your hairdresser, or if you need relationship advice, you, you know, make sure that you give, you have to, because if, if you, <laughs> I'm telling you, look, once a week I get this shave. Um, those, those are the two most important pieces of advice I can give. I can keep on giving more advice, but those two are so important. Um, yeah. And yeah. right now people have, an, there's an interesting opportunity right now for businesses they businesses all have an opportunity to actually we've had it since last March. And if you had a good business to begin with and you were running it well, you did have an opportunity to take a break because everything stopped. You had an opportunity to hit the brakes, look at everything, look at your expenses, look at your marketing, look at your sales, look at your staff, look at yourself. And you could do that without really worrying too much that you were going to lose any market share because everybody was stopped. And we're still kind of in that spot, but that's going to stop soon. So there is a shot clock. I think it's really running. And I think you have another three or four months to really get it together. And going into the spring of 2021, I think everybody, yeah. you know, yeah. getting vaccinated, business is going to go back to normal. Whether or not we're back in our office buildings, who knows, doesn't even matter anymore. But you still got a few months to really get it together. And I'm telling you, you got to focus on making sure you got cloud, cybersecurity and collaboration tools in place. Because a lot of smart businesses right now, that's what they've been spending the time doing. Yeah. I forgot you, what your question was. You mentioned No, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're answering. <laughs> You're answering. You're doing a great job, Matt. You're doing a great job. No, the thing about it is you mentioned, you mentioned about having a great advisor. You want to know who my great advisor is? My intuition. That's my great advisor. That's my awesome. intuition. I go with my gut every time. I don't need awesome. to talk to anyone. And my my God is my advisor. If I have to do anything, I don't know if you're a believer, but I am guided by my God and intuition because the two are connected. The two are connected. And anything I need to do, I wait for that voice. And it to move within me here for me to know is the right thing. And sometimes, Matt, it comes to me like this. I might be in the shower. I might be cooking. And I just get this this voice is feeling do this no and i just stop and i do it no <laughs> because it feels right it resonates with me it it it, it I, I it's hard to explain but there's a sort of excitement at the same time that i feel within me 
that is like, yeah, that's a great idea. That that's good. Right. That sounds good. Right. I'm going to do that now. Yeah. yeah, it feels right. And, and I it just could be it. right. It could be so wrong, but it feels right for you. It feels right. And I can assure you, it always works out. It always works out, without a doubt. But you see, when I talk I, to another I human being, there? like, I'm, I'm, yes, you can. Go ahead. Even if it doesn't work out in the way that would be like expected, like, I don't know, business-wise or financially, it still works out because it becomes an opportunity to learn from whatever, even if it was a mistake, it didn't work out the way you yeah. wanted. It's still an opportunity to learn. Yeah. And and that's how I, I look at that. And I really believe that. So every mistake is an opportunity to learn. And, and you can't be afraid of making mistakes. Yeah. But when you're talking about wisdom, uh, about um, intuition, I, I there's another yeah. thing that I, I agree with you totally. I, I feel the same way. When something comes into my mind, uh, I know it doesn't come from nowhere. Yeah. It's coming from somewhere. And it could be something where it's maybe I'm being tested or maybe it's a creative yeah. thought that's coming into my mind because it's coming from, you know, who knows, wherever it's coming from. I don't, everybody yeah. believes something different, but I do believe the thoughts are coming in. And when you, when you have life experience and, and we both do, when we have life experience in, inside you, you know, in your mind and, and in your heart and in your soul, you begin to have the, when these things come into your mind, we call it intuition. Another way to look at it is wisdom because you're able to filter the, even what came into your mind. You know if it's good or bad because you also have so much experience in life. You've made so many mistakes and you've also had so many successes that subconsciously you get that gut feeling, oh, this is right or this is not right. And you can just feel it. You That's can right. feel it because you've got wisdom yeah. because, we, we've, we've, because we've learned and the intuition and the wisdom and and the ideas and the creativity, it's all it all is one filter that that when you're open to it, yeah, it, it's a very very powerful thing. And I'm with you. I tend to when I, when those things come to me, I know they come it to is. me for a reason, and I follow them. And I write things down all over the place, and, and I email myself the idea wherever. <laughs> for me, when I meditate, I, I meditate in the morning, That's and right. I have to get a lot of ideas when I'm doing that because my mind is very clear. Uh, and the random the things that I've actually That's done business thing. deals, I've done new products, I've uh, reached out to help this one, or the, it could be anything. A lot of times it comes to me and it just yeah. feels right and I do it. And people think I'm, I take risks. Yeah. A lot of people I know think I take risks and they might be right, I take risks, but they're not really uncalculated risks. They're gut feelings that I think through. No. And if it makes sense, I do it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm with you. I, your I intuition, you. your intuition, your intuition knows how how to do maths. It, it, it's very good at calculating stuff. You don't have to ask it if it's right. You know, do all the calculus yeah, and sure. algebra. You just know it's right. You just know. <laughs> you don't. Have and you know what's interesting? People don't that don't ask. follow That's that. What? I'm sorry. There is a delay. It's like a three second delay in our in our connection. The people that don't follow. Yeah, that, there's a bit of a delay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The people that don't follow that on this earth may find that their experience in life, they may see themselves as a victim because things don't go their way, or they may be complainers, or they may always say, oh, it was me, or good things don't happen to me. These are the types of things that you might hear from people who don't have the insight and the self-awareness to realize that that's coming from somewhere and you should pay attention to it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. That's my feeling. I, I will tell you from, from my own Oh yeah, oh yeah, and that's a good feeling. I will tell you from my experience, I have, you know, because I'm on a journey and it's, it's it's a continuous journey. And there was a time, you know, we look at procrastination in a bad way. You know, mm. there are things I would, let's use the word procrastination. I procrastinate on like my exercising, um, like probably reading, like how I would have liked to read every day, a chapter every day, and I might start and stop, start and stop. And there are times I would wake up with a good plan you know, I have my list, my to-do list, and somehow my day doesn't. And I would be like, no, I have things to do, and I might beat up on myself. And I've come to the conclusion, Matt, it's okay. That's the way going forward. It's okay. And it is not that I'm not doing anything. It's just that the list that I have, I may not be checking off that particular list, but I am actually being very strategic and methodical and planning in my mind. Okay, so it's not to say I'm lying down there on my bed and nothing, I'm just blank, although I would love to be blank.
but yeah, <laughs> you know, I am doing things, but it may not be, it may not be an action oriented, tick off the list, sit down behind my computer or be on the phone or whatever it is, but I am doing things. And that in itself, just being in that silent moment or not doing anything is so I want people to look at procrastination in their business and in their life as a way of recharging than something negative. It's a time away to recharge and come back again so that when you look back at that list or you look at anything that you have to do, it's coming from a different perspective. It's not the same old perspective that you would have had. You took a time away in order for you to have a better view and a better perspective on the thing that you need to do. I see your thinking. So let me hear your talk. I'm listening to you because it's so, I agree with you so much. It's, it's really, it's so true. I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm deeply listening to you. <laughs> I, I really, I agree yes. with you. Are you, listening to me because, are you listening to me because of my accent? I know a lot of people listen to me because of my accent, Matt. <laughs> no, I like it, but I'm listening to you because, because I'm really, I'm connecting with what you're saying. I, I am connecting with what you're saying. Yeah. It's uh, procrastination okay. is. Um, yeah, yeah. It's like a disease, actually. It, it it's it's unfortunate. It is, it is. Um, and it's okay. It, yes, but it's okay. It's a bad habit it's okay. too. It's a very bad habit. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. If a friend call me right now, well, I mean not right now. I have to finish my episode with you, and I have another one after you. But if somebody we calls me, you got to ask me some good says, questions hey, before, before time's up. Yeah, yeah. If somebody calls me, yeah, I have to go. I have to go because it's live stream as well. So if somebody calls me in the middle of things I have to do, I am going to go because that is what brings joy to me. Spending time with that Perfect. person brings joy. And it helps yeah. again as another recharge, another recharge. So I don't want people in business or in their personal life in terms of, looking at productivity in the sense of i have to be at it at it at it oh, no you're not a hamster on a wheel and, and you're not in a rat race get out of that mental thinking and shift your mind <laughs> and think hey if i want to hang out with friends and i know i have things to do forget it it's one life to live i am going to recharge and i am going to live my life yeah, to come back it. again to look it. at this thing in a new in a new yeah, the you sun is it. on me. I'm in the Caribbean people. The sun is on me. <laughs> I'm trying to shift out of the sun. <laughs> I'm trying to shift. I'm in South I'm Florida. To I'm not that far away from here. Ah, that's good. That's good. It's, it's so very quick sunny today. Walk down and you'll be in Trinidad. Yes, it's very. It's on me. It's on me. Matt, hit me with, hit me with a good question. What do you want to know? What I want to know, I have to go because I have another interview in four minutes and I, I'm streaming that live. Hop okay. on that one and talk to me there. But I, you I would still so love to, to join have that you one too? My show. Yeah, join that. <laughs> you, could have, you could have two of us on. I'm come having on. a hard time <laughs> hearing you, babe. <laughs> you can come on and ask. You can come on and but you wouldn't be able to join me live. But I have to run. But I would certainly have you back on my show. Definitely. We had fun. I would certainly have you back on my show. It's good to have you. <laughs> it's good to have you. And I so wanted to show your website. I normally do that with my guests, but I didn't get a chance to. So I have to run. But I will bring you back. I will bring you back. All right? You what are your you final do? words before you go? Anytime you want, just let me know. Yes. Any final words before you go? Let's round up this with a nice little quote from Matt Rosenthal. Tell us something before you go. Uh, when you're, I'll tell you something that we can leave everybody with. It's important that when you spend time with people, no matter who it is, so if it's your employees, if it's, if it's if your, your, um, your family, if it's your spouse, it doesn't matter. Be present. Be present with them and, and let them know that you're present. Don't be distracted. Um, and, and listen, listen to people and listen to the attention of understanding. And that really goes a long way when, when people can, can be with you and feel that you're really present and you really um, care and you really understand. Uh, that translates into everything. Of course, in business, it, it's, it's everything. You know, people have to really know that you hear them and that you understand them. Thank you so much, Matt. 
It's been oh. a pleasure having you on Between the Lines and I'm definitely bringing you back on. I'm definitely bringing you back on. Thank you.